Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to multiply mixed numbers. So right here, we have the problem 5 and 2 thirds times 2 and 1 half. And like adding and subtracting mixed numbers, our first step to multiply mixed numbers is to convert them into their improper fraction form. And how we do that is, well, right here we have 5 and 2 thirds. And the first thing we're going to do is multiply our denominator with our whole number. So we're going to multiply 5 and 3. What is that? 15. And then we're going to add that to our numerator here, which is 2. And this equals 17. So 17 is going to be our numerator of our improper fraction. And our denominator actually stays the same. So 3, we just bring that right down here. 3 is going to be our denominator. Now, let's multiply this with, well, what's 2 times 2? 4. 4 plus 1, right here, our numerator, is 5. So 5 is going to be our numerator of this improper fraction. And we just bring our denominator here, so 2. And now, we simply just multiply these like normal fractions. What's 3 times 2? 6. What's 17 times 5? 85. So this is our answer. Well, we can actually convert this. Let's convert 85 over 6 into a mixed number. And our first step is to divide 85 and 6. Well, 6 goes into 8 once. Bring down the 6 here, 2, bring down the 5. 6 goes into 25 four times, so this is 24 minus 1. So we have 14 with a remainder of 1. So our mixed number is going to be 14. Our numerator is going to be 1, and our denominator stays the same, so it's going to be 6. And this is our answer in mixed number form. So 14 and 1 sixth, and 85 over 6 is our answer in improper fraction form. All right, so now we have the problem 6 and 2 thirds times 3 and 5 six, And I actually want you guys to try this problem on your own. So pause the video and try to do this problem. All right, I'm assuming you guys attempt to do this problem and have an answer. So remember, our first step is to convert both of these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 6 and 2 thirds, we first multiply the 6 and 3, that's 18, and then we add our numerator 2, and this is 20. So we have 20 as our numerator, and then we simply just bring our denominator down, so 3 is our denominator, and we multiply this with, well, 6 times 3, equals 18 plus 5 is 23 so 23 is our numerator and we simply just bring our denominator down here so it's 6 and now we simply just multiply these like normal fractions 3 times 6 is 18 20 times 23 that's 460 and let me just four hundred sixty over eighteen. This can be simplified to two hundred thirty over nine. And this is our answer in improper fraction form, but let's find it in mixed number form. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Divide 230 by 9. 9 goes into 23 two times. 18, 5. 9 goes into 50 five times, so that's 45. And we have a remainder of 5. So it's 25 with a remainder of 5. So this is... Well, 25 is our whole number, 5 is our numerator, and 
9, we keep their denominator, so 9 is our denominator, and 25 and 5 ninths is our answer.